Hello again, Linux fans. Today I'm going to discuss the difference between a TTY, a terminal, and a shell. A lot of people tend to get these three terms mixed up, but as we shall see in the following video, they are three very, very different things. And what I will do now is explain what each of them are, the differences between them, and how they are used. I hope you enjoy watching. Before I proceed with the demonstration, I would like to explain what each of the th three things are. A terminal, okay, is a GUI, graphical user interface based program, that runs under the graphical user interface in Linux and it emulates a TTY. It isn't a TTY, but it executes the same commands as a TTY, and it simulates a TTY, but it runs under the graphical user interface within Linux. A TTY, as I mentioned, a true TTY is based on the old-style teletype machines like the type used in the 1960s, and even before that. There is no GUI in a TTY, no mouse, and no scrolling, unless, of course, you use the pipe functions to pipe your output through either the more or the less programs that are utilities within Linux that allow for scrolling without a mouse using the keyboard only. That is the only way to do scrolling within a true TTY. A true TTY is also in a way sort of a simulator in that it simulates the old teletype machines. So you have the old teletype machines which are simulate, simulated by a TTY which is simulated by a terminal which runs under a modern day GUI. A shell on the other hand is what they call a command line interpreter that reads and executes commands that are given to it from either a terminal or a TTY. Note that a shell, be it the bash shell, the born shell, the C shell, whatever, it interprets and executes the commands. Whereas the TTY is how the shell is presented and a terminal is another way of presenting the shell. Both of them work with the shell, but the shell is a completely different concept. Now to get to the meat and potatoes of this video. You'll notice I have Linux Mint Cinnamon 18.3 up and running. I'm in the graphical user interface right now, and as I mentioned earlier for Mint 18.3, the graphical user interface is on F7 or TTY7. You get to the TTYs by hitting Control alt and whatever function you want. In Linux Mint, we have 1 through 7 available. 1 through 6 are true TTYs, and 7 is the GUI. To demonstrate this, I will now enter Control alternate f one You see that I am now in a TTY. There is no GUI present at all in this. Basically, it's asking for the login. If I want to log in, I can enter my login credentials, which are tech, okay, the password. It wants my password. I enter the password, and it logs me in. You notice I'm logged in as a regular user, okay? I can now enter my Linux commands, such as ls-l. Okay, and you notice I get my directory. You notice without any GUI, there's no mouse, there's no scroll bar. If I try copying and pasting, it will not work. I'm basically in a terminal. The only way I could get scroll scrolling functions is to use command line, which I will demonstrate in a little bit. But contrasting that, I'm going to switch over to the terminal now, which, as I mentioned, is GUI-based. So I hit Control alternate F7, and you notice it brings back up the term, the GUI, the graphical user interface. I can now hit the terminal, as mentioned right here. I click on terminal. You see how it looks similar? I get a command line, but it's inside a box. It's in a window. And if I type in commands such as ls-l, I get the same exact directory but I have a scroll bar on the side. I have a graphical user interface window. I could use the mouse. You see the mouse cursor. 
I could highlight, which means I could copy and paste. I have all the advantages of a graphical user interface, but I'm within a TTY-like environment. It's good in a way, but bad in a way. It's good because I have a lot of extra options available to me. It's bad in that if I get used to working in a terminal and then I ever sit down at a machine where I have to work on a true TTY, I'm in trouble because a lot of what I get used to doing isn't going to be working. This allows me to cut and paste between windows. In a TTY, you can't. You have to actually enter the text and it allows me to scroll without using functions, which in a true TTY, you can't. Let me show you. If I change directory, cd backslash, and I'm going to go into the dev subdirectory, the device, because I know that's a long one, and it'll scroll off the screen, which is exactly what I want. I do an ls-l when I'm in the dev subdirectory, and you see how it goes off the screen, but I could come to my scroll bar here, and I could very easily scroll it. That's what I want you to focus on. To get out of it, I could do one of two things. I could either type in the letter Q, which is universal in Linux, or as in any graphical user interface or GUI-based program, I could hit this little X right here. That'll close me out of it. If we do the same thing in a TTY, and again, I'm going to go back by hitting Control alternate f one And this should look familiar. This is the TTY we were in earlier. Okay, same thing. I'm going to change my directory to the dev. And when I hit enter, you see the prompt that I'm in the slash dev. It's at the end of the command prompt there. I can't show you with the mouse because there is no mouse in a TTY. See, it even affects the way I make videos. But I do my ls dash L, okay, you see it scrolls off the screen. If I want to see what's on top, how do I? I could reach for the mouse right here, and I can move it around all I want. It's not going to do anything, because it's ineffective. With command line, though, Linux had the foresight to put in two command line utilities, the more and the less. And Linux being what it is, with a little bit of a wry sense of humor, less is more. And I'm going to show you that. Let's look at more first. If I take the same command, ls-l, and I'm going to use the pipe. You remember, pipe is that little up and down arrow. And I'm going to pipe it into more. Okay. You notice how it scrolls one screen worth. And then it stops, and you see the more highlighted. Again, I can't show you with the mouse. We're in a TTY. So you have to kind of follow on the screen. I can scroll down a line at a time or a page at a time by hitting the Enter key. I could hit these keys on the screen, and I can read what's going on. If I want to quit, there is no little... X to cancel. The one that's up on the top of the screen is for my VMware, not the TTY. Okay? In order to quit, I have to hit the letter Q. That gets me out of it. Okay? What do I mean by more is less? Or less is more, actually. Let me clear the screen for the purposes of demonstration. Start out with a nice clear screen. And I'm going to type my ls-l, but I'm going to pipe it into less. Pipe it into less. L-E-S-S. -S. You notice I get a page going here, and then I get that little colon on the bottom of the screen. Well, with less, I could go in either direction. If I want to go up, I could hit the forward button. No, I can't. With less, if I want to scroll up, okay, I could hit the enter button, and that gives me one line at a time, like it does with more. If I want to go up, I could hit the up arrow, and that will take me up. If I want to go down, I hit the down arrow. These are keyboard commands. The up arrow takes me up, 
the down arrow takes me down. So I could go in either direction. Since there's no mouse, I still can't copy and paste. I still have no mouse control. I can't use the find utility or any of the other graphical utilities that I could with the terminal. So the terminal, as you can see, gives you a lot more capabilities. But if you ever sit down at a true TTY, or even worse yet, as you'll see at the end of this video, a real teletype machine, Forget it. You really got to know what you're doing using these old style features if you could do anything. Again, to get out of it, you hit the letter Q and that returns you back to your system prompt or your command prompt. You could then clear the screen using the clear command and do whatever you want to do. Now with a TTY or a teletype machine, when you're done, since there's no way to log out other than through the keyboard, because Q will quit, it doesn't log you out, you actually have to type the word log out. You type the word log out, there you are. If you want to log back in, you got to give it your logon name and password. Switching back to the Alt Control F7, I'm back in my shell here. The terminal, you see how easy that is? You have file, search, view. You could use like gedit. You could use all your full features of your GUI in a TTY-like environment. But it's not a true TTY. Now, getting to the shell portion, when I type in a command, okay, like ls-l, that is a bash command which is picked up by the shell interpreter. See, now I can use the mouse. And the shell interpreter will interpret that ls-l. It'll know what it means, and it will give me <clears throat> my output. That is the purpose of the shell. So there you have it. A TTY, a terminal, and a shell. To get out of this, I can close now, if I wanted to log out of here, again, since it's, <coughs> excuse me, since it's menu-driven, I can just simply use my menu down here. So, you think the TTY is crude and primitive, do you? Well, let's take a look at what the TTY is based on. That is an old-style teletype machine. I got into the computer field back in 1972 when you would have to dial up on a rotary phone and put the handset in an acoustic 300 baud modem and hook up with what they called a mainframe computer miles and miles away. You then heard a lot of loud noise as your old style teletype machine would execute the old commands that were fed into it. That was back in the day. And I lived through it. And we've come a long way. Everybody here watching this video knows where we are today. How many of you realize truly how far you've come? Well, I've included some choice clips of an old teletype machine in operation here, complete with the, the headache-causing noise they made, which I used to listen to for hours on end. After watching the following clip of a teletype machine in operation, maybe you will appreciate how far we've actually come. Enjoy the clip.